it up, tastes like a grape. I fight gravity every day I skate. Whoever's try to smoke is one thing I really hate. Splits three fifths about to roll up another. Still burning for James Corn. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley. Mr. Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know what we about to do, Bird Club. We about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Tonight's theory involves vampires. So, Halloween. And when wolves, goblins, and creatures of the night emerge from their lairs, searching for fresh blood and sweet treats. Miss the frights and festivities have you ever wondered why vampires never seem to target stoners it's a mystery wrapped in a fortune cookie cloaked in darkness and sprinkled with a little bit of key you can walk with me as we stroll through this conspiracy prepare yourself for things that are more potent than a supernova of cannabis creativity buckle up people grab your favorite strain and let's unravel why potheads or the ultimate vampire repellent. Picture it, peeps. You're at a concert, air thick with smoke, so hazy it makes you think you've entered another high dimension. You're halfway through a hit, feeling higher than a vampire's collar. When a strange presence prickles your spine, is it a vampire stalking fresh blood? No way, because in legends, tale of Count Dankula, the vampire who took a single hit and became more couch potato than Count Potato. Dankula was once the terror of the night, but after that fateful toke, he spent hours staring at his own fangs in the mirror, pondering the higher purpose of being undead. Vampire buddies ran for the hills. Terrified, they'd end up like Dankula, more baked than bloodthirsty. So yeah, vampires at a fish concert? Unlikely, my dude. Here's a riddle for you. Dressed in black with cloak and cape through open windows i may escape invite me in and i'm your guest refuse and i shall find no rest what am i let's talk about garlic myth for a second garlic might be the dracula desmellerizer but weed that's their total smoke shield to yourself in a, in a way you hear something maybe the shuffling footsteps of the undead menace but instead of getting your vamp up you just let the herb waft through the air. The vampire freezes like a daring headlight. He gets one whiff of that sticky icky and it's like holy water to his finely tuned senses. If garlic is the horror fan's favorite ammo, then cannabis is the holy roller. Vampire recoils, sneezing and muttering something about hippies as he slinks back into the night defeated by your smoking security system. Here's another riddle for you. Not born of life, yet not truly dead. My blood alone, I'm often fed. Crosses and stakes are what I dread. What am I cloaked in the darkest red? Let's take a moment to appreciate the fine dining habits of vampires. Noses are like sommelier level sensitive. Able to detect haunting notes of fear and hints of terror in every drop of blood they sip. But what if that's blood been main marinating words? Marinating in skunk-like undertones, courtesy of some quality bud. Imagine you're Dracula, gliding in for a taste and bam, you bite down, only to find that this human vintage has the earthy aftertaste of a AM Taco Bell run. Vampires want blood that's terror-aged, not bud-infused. They spit it out faster than you can say blunt Dracula, gagging at what is to them a flavor catastrophe. For us, it's a genius safety measure. Next time you see a vampire, just weed them out. Here's another riddle for you. I move with grace, but cast no shade. In mirrors, my reflection fades. Rest by day in coffins deep. Awake at dusk, where shadows creep. What am I? Imagine it's late, and you're hanging with friends, passing around the joint under the eerie glow of the streetlight, and telling ghost stories when, out of the shadows, a tall figure steps in. Ew. As a puff of smoke, you feel the hairs on your neck rise, and just as he opens his mouth to hiss, you do the logical thing. Hey, what a hit! Now the vampire's thrown off faster than you can say, fang bang. Caught in an eternal dilemma, except the drink breaking vampire to tri tra 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 words, people, vampire tradition, or refuse, looking like a total buzzkill. He falters, 
then runs away, defeated. The scare tactic fizzling out like a half smoked joint. Congratulations, people. You just thwarted a blood sucker with a stoner signature puff puff passive defense. A life unlived, a soul unclaimed. At death's cold edge, forever chained. Though ages pass, I ruled and reigned. What am I dark and blood stained? So there you have it, people. The proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the pot. Vampires steer clear of potheads for a plethora of reasons. They could feel a crypt from the heavy haze of cannabis that sends shivers down their undead spines to the delightful aroma of garlic infused munchies. Our weed loving friends have built an impenetrable fortress of protection against these nocturnal nuances. That was the wrong way. That's nuisance. That's nuisance. It's not nuances. It's nuisance. I'm silly over here. Now that we finished our walk through this conspiracy, consider hosting a Halloween gathering. Invite your friends. Share some dank treats and maybe even dress up as your favorite vampire. Just make sure your stash is on display. When the clock strikes midnight and the vampires come knocking, you'll be prepared to send them running back to their dark corners with nothing but a whiff of your potent potion. Because let's face it, when it comes to a world of the undead, the only thing they really fear is a good time. So next time you feel a chill in the air or see a shadow lurking near your stash, just remember, the only thing standing between you and the vampire bite is your delightful ability to tote and joke. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to check my windows. No sense in letting any of those fantastic creatures in without a proper screening. Who knew a little herb could turn a horror story into a hilarious high tale enjoy your halloween and maybe your night may, maybe your night up words people and may your night be filled with more laughs than bites the answers to the riddles a vampire a vampire a vampire a vampire see y'all in the next one bruh